done because she got it done once before when she was doing this full time to uh, to help run the um, United Way during its time of, of of searching for a permanent, I guess you call it CEO or president. I'll find out in a minute. Uh, Tony is the person. Uh, today on the show, also, this goes. I'm going to go old school on you guys today. I'm going to. I got a call from a friend of mine, former sports editor of the New York Times, Neil Amder, also former writer for the Miami Herald, well-known tennis writer, football writer, whatever. There was a high school football player one time who went on to become a really good college player whose name was Larry Rents. None of you will remember or know about Larry Rents. R-E-M-T-Z. Yes, it is. And and as a high school player at Coral Gables, when Coral Gables had the great teams back in the day, he was uh, he was a running quarterback, and he was like the hardest. It was a, he was like you couldn't catch him. He was incredible. He weighed 150 pounds. Neil Amder then writing for the New York, uh, and then writing for the Miami Herald wrote a poem. There's no defense for Larry Rents. And in those days, Miami High and or Miami Senior High and Coral Gables drew fifty thousand people for their games. Okay, we're talking high school here. There were no Dolphins in town yet. 50,000 people would come to those games. Anyway, Neil has written a story, which I think appeared in this weekend's Miami Herald, about what Larry Rents is doing now. He's quite an extraordinary young man. He had a bad stuttering problem, and he's done very well in commercial real estate. So Neil will join us uh, here at about uh, 5.15 to tell us about that particular story. Also, not good news for Gator fans, aside from the loss uh, against uh, LSU, which was not a shock. Disappointing, though it was, they've lost their number one running back now for the season, Matt Jones, another torn meniscus on the Gator football team. So, having said that, it was a great weekend. Seven team ranked teams lost and uh, uh, quite a weekend for sports. So, and also on the show, you guys think you can pick some horse racing? Absolutely not. Well, I've volunteered you now because Tammy Gant will be here momentarily. Tammy Gant from the FTBOA and – we're, we're up against competition. We've got to pick against other media people, including some dudes from Gainesville. The Breeders' Cup is coming up, and Tammy's going to come in. We got our, we're assigned to slot in. I volunteered us, so we've got to get our horse racing skills on here, okay? Let's see if we can study up on a little bit. Tammy will give us some information where we can find out. What Palace we're Malice. Not running, I don't believe, J.J. But these are horses that ran in the Derby and ran last spring and ran this summer. And horse, some of them ran last year, and they'll be running the upcoming Breeders' Cup, which is a big week for uh, for horsemen around here. So Tammy will be in the program in the in the uh, studio at 4:15, and then Dr. Buddy arrives around 3:35. So that's all coming up on the program today. Tom's got a segment today sometime about something. I don't know what it is. He'll surprise me with that. Anyway. Good to be back. Good to be with you guys. We'll take a break. Come back, and we'll just a moment or two. We'll have Tony James here with us on the program. So stay tuned to the Voice Book Out. Thirteen seventy AM, ninety six point three FM, WOC eight, the source. Since nineteen seventy six, Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer, has been fighting for accident victim justice in North Central Florida and statewide. He believes everyone in America should follow the rules, including the insurance companies. He and his firm have experience fighting for victims of personal injury, wrongful death, workers' compensation, and social security disability, as well as serving those in need of help with bankruptcy, simple wills, and estate plans. The mission at the law offices of Daniel L. Hightower, PA, is to represent deserving clients and recover the maximum benefits they are entitled to by law in a timely manner. In personal injury and workers' compensation cases, there are no fees or costs unless a recovery is made. The law office of Daniel L. Hightower is located at 7 East Silver Springs Boulevard, Suite 300. For your free consultation, call 352-629-7777 or 1-888-LAW-1976 and visit danhightower.com for more information. Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice, and the proud sponsor of Ask the Cops. This reprise of Ask the Cops is proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. This is Ocala's Chief of Police, Greg Graham, answering one caller's question. How often are the officers required to go to the firing range to keep their, their shooting skills up to par? Uh, great question. By uh, by FDLE rules, uh, they're supposed to go uh, once a year. 
uh, we actually do, uh, the police department does two qualifications a year, and then uh, throughout the year we have practice days and sessions with them. But I tell you, the problem that we're having is we're having a, a difficult time getting ammo and, uh, or enough ammo to have, uh, to have those practice days, but we do a minimum of two qualifications a year. That reprise of Ask the Cops was proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. Be sure to tune in to Ask the Cops the second and fourth Friday of every month during the 4 o'clock hour on The Voice of Ocala. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the Voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new Old Fashioned Bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. On the next day on Ocala Live, Robert and I will be speaking to Marsha Dixie. She's coming in to speak to us about the recipe for a Hope Hunger Relief Initiative to raise funds for the Feeding America program. News Bites, the hottest news and current events are bite size. And then Carol Ann Baldwin will be in the studio talking to you about your lawns and your garden on her show, You've Got a Garden. Porter Gale is a producer and director for documentaries airing on PBS. She's written a book called Your Network is Your Net Worth. And she'll be speaking about the Cox Rise of the Women Entrepreneur Survey. <laughs> and then Joe Reichel will be on from Damage Control Services. He'll be telling you what he does when he gets a call from somebody whose home has been damaged. Dr. Daniel Luffler speaking about getting educated on celiac disease. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day on Ocala Live right here on the Source WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding was proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Welcome back to the program. Just a couple minutes. Tony James joins us. How'd you guys do this weekend? You know, I don't know. It's, like, maybe it's the age, but you know, driving to 500 miles anymore in the day is not as much fun as it used to be. We made a bold attempt last night. Yesterday, did it. Got off and got down to uh, Port Lake, St. Lucie, and saw Mickey, Mickey Sharp, the comedian, by the way. You did that this weekend? Did it yesterday. Jeez. There and back. Um, and uh, saw Mickey, took him to lunch. He's amazing at 90 years old. Funny, funny guy. He used to be. A, he was a comedian that, as I told you guys before, he was a heartbeat away from being in the big time in terms of a comedian. Just that one shot on Johnny Carson would have done it, which he's never got. But he made a solid living his whole life as a as an entertainer. Very nice living. And he played Chicago and he played the Playboy clubs and he played. Uh, his one thing he would never do is he would never work blue. You know what that means? Do Do I know what working blue means? Yeah. Does JJ know? I, yeah, I don't know just, what working not blue means. Yeah. Being, I know uh, what working blue means. Yeah, that working. was pretty much my whole act. Yeah, well, and, and you wouldn't work. You wouldn't work for him. He never worked blue. He would never do it. And he played a lot of clubs around the country in Chicago and played more clubs. And he played the ships for years. Um, anyway, Mickey, we got a chance to see Mickey. Um, what did you guys do for the weekend? What do you think I did, buddy? Let's see, JJ. You probably I, – I heard you took up knitting. <laughs> huh? 
I heard. Oh, I heard you started jogging, JJ. Oh man, well, you was, act like I don't jog every day, but that, that's Tom. I'm sorry, he was took up <laughs> jogging. I got it mixed up. Little There's bit. nothing about jogging I'm ever no. going to take yeah. part in. Well, look at it like this: for you, like the astronaut who believe you only have so many heartbeats, you got to save them. Yeah, exactly. You know, so. <laughs> no. I uh, I actually had a very productive weekend this weekend. Finally got a uh, storage room or junk room or just a, the room in the house that I piled everything into. Yeah, we all cleaned out. Those. That's good. That's a biggie. Got it set up. Got it all cleaned out. How long did it take you? It uh, took me about four and a half, five hours. That's, yeah, that take me four and a half days to get my. I mean, it out. was, but the, it it took uh, took me before I could clean that room out. I actually had to go make room in the storage shed out back yeah. to put the stuff in. Yeah, where do you put it? That's a problem. Well, and and the thing is, if I would do more than just open the door and blindly throw something towards the pile and close the door, that's your way of organization. No, no. That, that, that's what I encountered. Way so then I had to go out and actually yeah. organize it. You know what that's called? You won't know this. Tony probably will. Back in the day, there was a, a, a funny show on radio called Fibber McGee and Molly. Wow. And Fibber McGee used to have a closet. That every time he opened it, everything came out of it. Right. And Fibber, Fibber McGee's closet is a saying for an old, for everything coming out. So, uh, well, that cue, the wow in the background, was Tony James. Let's bring her in and talk to. Let's see, Tom James. No, she's not. She's Tom. No, well, how no, no. Right. Tom, Tom is, James is her son. Right. He rides her coattails. Correct. The same. Tony. Everybody knows Tony James. Tony, nice to talk to you again. Well, it's great to be here, buddy. But I'm not sure about this Fibber McGee and Molly because that was my parents' day. No, it was not. Yes. It was. Not. It wasn't. You. Well, I know. Oh, well, I know. You just turned fifty. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so it's good it's to have not you. Nice to say how old a lady, uh, or how old a young a woman is on the radio. But never bothers you. You seem to do it all the time. So I would never say she was fifty. She looks not a day over forty-two. Well, that might be a little old, Tom. She maybe you might want to say thirty-nine. So, <laughs> as long as we're lying about it, that's lying. Right, good. Right, Tony. It's good to see you. And I, I saw so much of you during our time together in the Save the Marion campaign, which I'm very proud to say seems to have worked so far. Yeah, and, I'm going uh, to an event there um, next Thursday night. The uh, silent film. Nosfera 2 with the two orchestra's with, chamber music. Yes, that should be sold out. What a neat idea. I love that. Uh, we had Matt on the uh, Matt Deathy Wardell on his program, and I didn't know this. The music that they have for this was came from Austria, but it was found, uh, and the score was found, but pages were missing. His friend wrote the composition to fill those pages in. Right. They performed it in Austria. This is the first time it's ever been performed in this country. At the Marion Theater with 20 musicians, as you know, on on Thursday night, is it? Thursday the 24th. Yeah, 24th, yeah. That's going to be awesome. That yeah. is awesome. I, I, the use of the, the theater for that purpose, I, just very innovative. Yeah, exactly what we needed it for. The solos are doing such a good job. And also, I guess got the report uh, over the weekend that uh, they had the cultural Hispanic Cultural Festival Friday night. Yeah. They said it was sold out. Wow. Said it was packed. And uh, they had great bands, people danced, had a great time. And so that was apparently a big hit. So, little by little, the Marion Theater is finding that niche that we all hoped it would exactly. find. Exactly. Right. So, it's good to sew. Well, the main reason you're here today is we want to just grill you about your son, okay? Oh. We, want to, we, want to make, we want to know every bad thing about him that we could possibly know. So we can tomorrow on the show we can uh, we can heckle him about it. Okay, all right. So give me some bad habits of Tom James. Bad habits of Tom James. I know he didn't have too many. I understand he's like Mr. Perfect. Okay, but I know you must know one or two. Well, sometimes I think that his uh, smartphone is attached to his ah. hand. He just can't seem to turn loose of it. Sometimes that's but. all of us, unfortunately. Me, I, I'm guilty. Raise your hand if you're guilty of that. Guys, raise your hand if you're guilty of your smartphone. Raise your hand, Tom. No, I don't. No, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's guilty of being a Forrest Homer. I know that. That's one of his bad things. Well, that's balls. a good thing. So anything like that, I mean, was he sloppy with his clothes at home? Um, well, the... It's, now you're getting me in trouble. Was he? As a kid. Was he? When, as a kid? Yeah. Yes, I could never. I don't know how he is now, but I mean. I could never get him to pick up his room. Yeah. I, I tried everything. I tried rewarding him. Yep. I tried punishing him. Okay. Nothing Good. worked. Sounds perfectly normal to me, but I want to, I'm trying to find something I can talk to him about. Did he talk back to you? Did he? Or did you oh, no. To, oh, see, I no. knew that. No. No. no I was called didn't. knuckles on across the head. Okay. <laughs> something like that. Right. My wife had a wooden spoon she chased around with, but that always works, too. So all kidding aside, 
Great guy. We love to have him here. He's been a great asset to us. He's an excellent play-by-play man and on the radio, and we're very glad to have him. Well, he uh, just loves it. He just well, loves broadcasting. Well, he's good at it, and we love having him here. All right, so now you got this job. Yeah. You didn't really want this job. No, no. You were not, looking for, you're not looking for this job. You were, you've been there, done that. Seven years ago, I retired. And the United Way decided that the, the person the head of that decided to go someplace else that's right and they turned around and said my gosh what do we do in the meantime because fundraising doesn't stop well the whole organization tell you stop. that right yeah yeah no so explain to me how it happened you got the phone call and what you thought and how did you come to the conclusion that you would take this interim position well um yeah i got a phone call saying you know if this happens would you know, we have a feeling that the, the lady's going to leave. Would you possibly be available? And I, so I thought about 10 minutes and <laughs> said yes. Because it's just something that I love, I always loved. Uh, and my heart's with what United Way is all about. So, you know, and I love the people that I work with. Uh, I love the board members. They are just so committed. You know, they're so, they have their own day jobs and they give so much to the United Way to, to run it, to govern it, to raise the money, to spend it right. They, they just are, they're, they're terrific. A- example, this morning I went down to Lockheed Martin for the kickoff of their United Way campaign down there at their plant and about 70 of their leadership givers, employees who give $1,000 or more a year, wow. wow, were there for the breakfast and ready to go, going to recommit. Uh, the board chairman of the United Way is from Lockheed, um, and he is a steel trap mind. hope he's listening to me because he, he really keeps me uh, uh, sharp. I can't. If I miss a beat, he, he catches it. Tony's not going to write you a check for more, and I just called you nice to him. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, but I'm just impressed with the commitment, the, yeah. the time that they give. Yeah. Well, you said something when you first started about you, you, you like what they stand for and who they are. And why don't you articulate that? And that why, what is there about this group that you, you feel – you know that it's so special to you since you, you obviously have a your simpatico of what their philosophy is so what's so great about the United Way? well it's it's all about the community it's about and and this is a wonderful well-knit community in most respects um and the united way side of it is kind of kind of like the chamber of commerce or now the cep side of it is is to support business interests the united way side is the is the human services side the 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 side where people who have problems can find some help and so i love that side of it 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 has to go those things have to go hand in hand the medical community has to take care of their side but the united way is there to to take care of not just poor people but people who've got troubles, whether it's domestic violence, that doesn't doesn't uh, stay with poor people. There are lots of well-off people who need that help. Child abuse is not a poor person's uh, problem exclusively. And so the United Way is there to, to uh, provide the resources and with the generous support of the community. I mean, the donors who, as I mentioned about the Lockheed donors, but like Publix, the public's employees have committed over a half a million dollars to this campaign. Locally? Locally. Wow. So I'll go buy some groceries there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean it's things like that where it's people, people helping people, which is always what I like about this community. That's this community right. has always had a heart for helping other people. Right. Less fortunate in most cases. Right. 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 But anybody who gets in trouble, you feel for their pain. And yeah. um yeah, so that's what I like about the United Way. Uh, you mentioned domestic violence. Uh, we have this show every the second and fourth Friday of every month called Ask the Cops with uh, Sheriff Chris Blair and Chief of Police Greg Graham where we address a variety of issues and take questions from the audience and write in questions. And they've talked recently. In fact, I meant to have more on this last week, but we didn't have time. We'll be exploring it in the near future. Um, so the uh, the deal is that uh, uh, they they said domestic violence is becoming a huge huge problem for them, and they're going and, and you know they're they're doing a lot of counseling. They're you know they're they're bringing I, I don't know whether they're connect, connecting to the United Way or not. Yes. But it's an issue for them right now. 
But they're both could. those gentlemen are both on the United Way board. Yes, and so it is domestic, and they say such a high, a high number of calls that they they get are domestic violence issues. And uh, I don't know if people know how prevalent it is right now. You would have some, probably some facts on that. Well, you? I can't. I can't. I mean, I mean, on top some, of your head, but I mean. But we know that for years we've had a higher rate of domestic violence here than any other county in the state. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's culture. I don't know whether it's certainly the recession has put a lot of pressures on on families that uh, you know sometimes erupts into. Mm violence so um but that's but it it, it obtained before that and, and it's not just shelter uh, is the biggest shelter in in any county really? around here i didn't yes. know that yes is there a name for the shelter well no or is it just a, a shelter you know and the thing about of course you don't want to give it too much publicity because no, you don't want people right. to know where it is right um, right but the amazing thing is what you just said it's the biggest shelter of anybody and they have got more domestic violence in this county than anywhere and the fact is that you think, why? I don't know. I mean, I'd be interested to know why, because it isn't just poor minorities either. It's nope. all walks nope. of life that have it. Right. So what is it about Marion County that gives, that gives us the most domestic violence? That's a very interesting question and one which I hope we can find a resolution to. Well, and I hope you ask Judy Wilson, who's been the long, uh, the founder of that organization, the longtime director. She may have some insight into why i think there there could be some cultural factors of women not minding their p's and q's and and uh and women trying to assert themselves i don't know whether that becomes an issue or not but i would think it might be in different cultures maybe before you leave today you could give me uh, a contact with with her and i can oh, get her sure. on the program and we'd like to explore that a little bit talk about it. what other things do you are we got we got about two three minutes so i want to make sure you maximize it what are the areas you mentioned cult you mentioned domestic violence mm -hmm. what are the other areas that uh, that are the focal points this year for united way well the united way has embarked on a focus three focus areas that they center all their financial support on and they're education, income, and health. And education is not helping the school system um, teach children. Education, for instance, is helping children with problems they have like hunger, like abuse, so that when they go to school, they're ready to learn. If they've got problems that they're coming from in their homes, that's an issue. United Way supports the Boys and Girls Club, the, uh, the um, uh, Kimberly's Cottage, um, agencies Tell like that. Tell people what Kimberly's Cottage is. That's a, a place where a child who's been sexually abused right. uh, can be... Um, safe haven. A safe haven and a, and a gentle interview place where the, uh, the law enforcement can get the, really the a, facts. Re really a special group of people. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And then income problems. Uh, people, that relates to uh, homelessness and hunger, those kinds of things, people not being able to manage their money very well and giving them some help in how to, uh, you know, get from paycheck to paycheck. And then with health, we're not competing with the hospitals. It's things to do with, um, uh, we, uh, they fund a dental program. Dental problems are a leading cause of medical problems. Yes, I've been reading about it. heart trouble even. Yep, mm. that's right. So that's some of the, those are the three focus areas that United Way yeah. Uh, distributes their money to. Yeah. Let's play act out just for a minute. I'm going to do. I'm I'm Joe Blow from Kokomo. I'm, I don't know the United Way. I'm going to ask you some questions, two or okay. three, and you give me just a generic. I'm going to ask a question. Just tell me, okay. So, United Way. So if I give you money, um, you know how much of that money gets to the people that really need it. What percentage of it is it? Is it does, how much does United Way take off the top? Well, the United Way takes off the top currently about a little over 20% mm -hmm. because as your revenues go down, your expenses don't necessarily go down. There are some fixed expenses to operating the program. It should be around 15%, and that's one of the things, probably due to the recession with so many people having to cut back on their financial support. So, yeah, so it's it's a little too high now, and that's one well, of the things they're working yeah. on. Yeah, and I, I think that's something that people, that people would like to hear about. And um, so I'm, I'm Joe Bull from Kokomo again and saying, okay, how do I know, what do I get out of United Way? Well, you get a tax uh, deduction from your okay. tax return. Yeah. 
you certainly get satisfaction at knowing that you're helping out uh, people, but you're also giving to a whole collection of causes instead of having to shell out money here, money there, and all the multiple places. So that some of the so instead of having to give to nine organizations or twenty three or twenty three, I can give it all. Maybe all but one. I think March of Dimes is separate, isn't there something? Yeah, they're not yeah. funded by but, United but, Way. But most all of them are funded by the United Way. Mm -hmm. and, how, and, a, and a good bit of it stays local, right? Oh, it all stays local. Yeah. It's for local services for Marion County people. In a way, even the money that's paid out stays here, too. Right. Because this employ it, it, it is, is a job. Sure. And, and we need jobs in this county. So, uh, all right, so a final question from, from uh, Joe Blow from Kokomo. Uh, all right, so I don't have a lot of money. What can I do to make a difference? What would I need to do to, to help you if I just had a little bit of money and I wanted to focus on one thing? What should I do? Well, here's, an, here's a suggestion. We have a program where if you give $52 a year or a dollar a week, you're put in a drawing for some absolutely fabulous prizes. We just awarded the out of the drawing uh, last week, it's, it's every two weeks, uh, seven days in the Smoky Mountains. Hmm. Pre and clear. Like every two weeks? Well, we do that. That's one of the prizes, okay. but there are some other big prizes yeah. that come out of that. So just for $52, you can get something back. How about that? A we dollar a, a week. Get a good job of selling me on it. I'll sign up. Okay. <laughs> all right. Tony James, it's always great to see you. Thank you for all you do for the community, and thank you for sending us Tom. Oh, uh, we kid him. We love pride him. and joy. Saying, yeah, I know he is. And he's kind of getting to be ours, too. So uh, appreciate it very much, Sonny. Good to be with you. Good luck on you anyway. Is there a number or an email address or something like that people can reach sure. you? You can call me at 732-9696. That, of course, is the 352 area. That's right. Or you can email me at tjames at org. All right, I'll get you. In, I'll get in touch with Tony James. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Brady, appreciate so much. It. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We got much more to come here. I think we've got. Uh, yeah, we might go. We may do a little bit of a uh, factoid or fake here coming up next on the program. So stay tuned to thirteen seventy AM ninety six point three FM streaming live at WOCA dot com. The source. <laughs> Having the motivation and making the commitment to quit smoking is a great first step towards becoming smoke-free. However, anyone who's tried to quit smoking knows how challenging it can be. Having the determination to quit may not be enough. You may need some help. If you're ready to quit smoking and are between the ages of 18 and 75, currently smoke 10 or more cigarettes a day, and can commit to participating for 24 weeks, you may be interested in a research study which is being conducted to evaluate the use of investigational drugs to see if they can aid in individuals in their quest to quit smoking. To help you quit, smoking cessation counseling and all study-related medical care will be provided at no extra cost. It may also be reimbursed for your travel time. To receive more information about this study, how you can participate, please call Renstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. That's Renstar Medical Research in Ocala, 352-629-5800. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. The Angela State Farm Agency is located at 1122 Northeast 36th Avenue, where visitors are always welcome and the coffee pot is always on. Your home for Florida State football all season long. WOCA, The Source. For illnesses and minor injuries, visit Family Care Specialist Urgent Care Offices with two convenient locations. Our North Ocala office is at 1111 Northeast 25th Avenue, and our Bellevue office is at 4850 Southeast 110th Street, right next to Walgreens. The medical team at Urgent Care can also handle well child and well adult exams, school and work physicals, immunizations, laboratory services, EKGs, and x-rays. Most insurances are accepted. Walk-ins are welcome. Family Care Specialist Urgent Care for illnesses and minor injuries. Legally Yours, brought to you by Fuller & Fuller Attorneys at Law. 
on the air every Wednesday morning at 1030 a.m. with John Fuller, a board-certified civil trial lawyer for over 25 years. John welcomes your questions from business to complex family matters to legal disputes. So tune in every Wednesday morning at 1030 a.m. for Legally Yours with John Fuller right here on WOCA 1370 a.m. and 96.3 FM, The Source. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Our tractor services include bush hog, disking, front end loader, box blade, and stump grinding. We also have zero turn mowers for the smaller paddocks, aisleways, fence rows, and lawn care. Fence row spraying is also available for weed control. We are licensed and insured. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing, 352-629-2440 or online at powellgene, G-E-N-E, at yahoo.com. Gene Powell Pasture Mowing. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Home Store on Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give them a call and they'll come and pick it up. For more information, visit HabitatOcala.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. WOCA All right, so can you have too much football, too much sports on TV? Can you get addicted to it, and what happens? And do you have to watch it when you're over the line? I think uh, the answer to that is pretty obvious. Coming up at next no, hour. No, it's not. Yeah, that's what we like to say. But if we're going to be real honest, we're going to take truth serum. You guys ready to go fake or a factoid? Yeah. Well, let's go. I'm ready. You haven't been. You've been kind of embarrassing to me lately, okay? I got JJ. I'm about to beat the brakes off. Yeah, let's see what – because this is – I don't know. I'm, I'm, I made them so easy today – my grandson could get it right, okay? Alexander could get these. Number one, Spider-Man grew up at 20 Ingram Street in Forest Hill, Queens. The address exists in real life, and the family that lives there is the Parkers. False. True. It's true. I hate this game. Want to know? It's like my <laughs> least favorite part of the show, honestly. JJ, why don't you go, go other way today, okay? Go the other way, all right? George Costanza style. Yeah, yeah. In the 1700s, watching surgeries was a form of entertainment, and doctors would invite their friends to view them. True. true. Correct. It's true. JJ, ding, 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 gets one. <laughs> Number three, creative people have a short attention span, are easily distracted, and tend to talk to themselves more often. True. true. You're correct. See, you're doing good today, JJ. You did well, it's a little easier. Yeah. I told you, maybe. Number four, creative people also dream 30% more. False. True. JJ, ties for the lead. Correct. Oh. That is not true. That's something I made up. One to one. 63% of right handed people tend to sleep on their right side. True. False. JJ is correct. It is false. Tom, you missed another one. Wow. JJ, surgeon to the lead. Mm-hmm. Are wow. you off, Tom? No, yeah. I only got, I've only missed two. The last two. You sure? Okay. Positive. All right, JJ. All right. 77% of people sleep in the nude. False. False. Good. That Good. was absurdly easy. 75% of people flip the pillow over to enjoy the cooler side. True. True. That is correct. You boys are doing better today. It's going to come down to the end. Number eight, the optimal temperature for a good night's sleep is between 60 and 68 degrees. False. True. JJ is correct. It's true. Tom is out. JJ, you made a comeback, buddy. I told you, see? Number nine, you'll see if you finish these up. There are now more obese people in the world than undernourished people. False. False. It is true. Whoa. And finally, good looking couples are 26% more likely to have daughters than sons. 
Good looking couples. Good looking say? couples <laughs> are twenty six percent more likely to have dogs. False. This has to be false. It's true. Uh, who is it? Who's making the JJ? decision on who's a good JJ, looking couple? JJ, don't start with me. You know what the rules are on the material. Oh man, that's JJ, just the way you it just is. have to do. I made a de- I made a decision over the weekend that no matter how ridiculously wrong these answers are, you just go with them. <laughs> that one is. So they're more likely to have a daughter. Yes. Yeah, but I'm just saying. By the way, I have two. Just, so, I, you know, oh, by the way, who, de- who decides? You also have a son. Wait, yeah, who but decides, he also has a daughter. Who decides actually. the definition of good looking? Uh, obviously, uh-huh. uh, there, you yeah. Yeah. obviously, problem. you didn't get included. <laughs> there, <laughs> no, I have no children by choice. Yes. Anyway, so uh, I'm just going by by Google facts and all the reliable. All the reliable stuff. So there a bu- you go. A bunch of a bunch of under thirty year olds that drink way too much espresso and roller skate, rollerblade, and skateboard inside their office. Yeah, the same. Yeah, that's one, who I rely on. It's the same ones that make up the trivia answers. By the way, just so you know. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. Well, so, we can pretty much look at people walking by and decide if they're an attractive couple. Well, or you know what? You know, that sounds like a good bit. Why not? We don't want to let them know, though, do we? Uh, well, they can hear us, but whatever. No, well, we don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we need to turn the speakers off out the, there. I don't mind hearing on the radio if they're in the car, but they're right there in the window. I don't think I want yeah. to. That's too close for comfort. So uh, uh, just a little way to lighten up the day. You guys, if you want to try me sometime, come in with a list. I'll go. I'll try. A list of uh, facts? Like, just All so right. you know, I put a little time into it. I feel this, okay? you. I put a little time into it. that last one. Sorry, JJ. It comes Maybe right. Off, it comes off off of uh, Twitter, and there are sites that send these to you every day. I'm signed up for about ten of them. I get them right off of there. That's why I have a disclaimer. But he's not saying that they're correct. They <laughs> just get them right off the internet and go with. We it. didn't hear the disclaimer today. So, yeah, I know we didn't hear it today. But maybe you did better. So JJ wins. I did win. I'll take that. Yeah. All right. Let's take a break. Come back. I'll tell you about this guy. Look, you know, losing your phone can be bad. It's one of those things that gives you a moment of horror when you think about it. And the first thing you want to do is react to it. Sometimes not the best thing to do. <laughs> we'll tell you about that next right here on the Voice World Column. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOC8, The Source. Getting a head start in learning to read is more important now than ever for our young children. The Reading Pals program of Marion County pairs up reading mentors with struggling kindergartners and helps them get up to speed in their most important years. But they need volunteers. If you'd like to be a Reading Pal, call Jan Hathaway at the United Way at 732-9696. That's 732-9696. Be a Reading Pal today. Saturday Sports Page on WOCA. The Saturday Sports Page is your weekend destination for everything sports, from NASCAR to golf, baseball to boxing, and of course, the best, most comprehensive football coverage on the radio. Also, you don't want to miss my weekly Are You Kidding Me rant? So join me and JJ LaSalva every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. for Buddy's Saturday Sports Page on WOCA, The Source. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. I want to tell you about a conversation I had recently with General Manager Pat Murray on the great family atmosphere at Country Club of Ocala. It's a family first club. Um, again, we you know we 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 have any number of different types of memberships, but obviously the the, the one that attracts the greatest level of interest is our family. And the reason for that is we have a little something for everybody. I mean, we have we obviously have a world class golf course. Um, we have uh, seven tennis courts here for all levels of uh, tennis players. We have a junior Olympic size swimming pool. We have the uh, we have a fitness center that's that's second to none. And we have uh, state of the art equipment in our fitness center. Country Club of Ocala, where the facilities are all a family would ever need. For more information, call today at 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala, proud sponsor of Monday's Gator Report and Gator Talk Thursday right here on The Source. Howdy folks, R.L. here. I want to tell you about the best five-buck bargain anywhere. For a limited time, Dairy Queen at Silver Springs is offering a sandwich or chicken strips, fries, a medium drink, and a Sunday for only $5 till 4 p.m. And new on the menu is the Orange Julius line of real fruit smoothies, including protein smoothies. Our fresh made garden salads go great with a fruit smoothie. Dairy Queen, Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. This is a public notice. 
Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to Sticker Shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding was proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Hi, I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. News Talk 1370. WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370. WOCA. trying to think what that could possibly be that song an intro I can't recognize you don't know this no yes you do do I Jim Morris it sounds like Carlos Santana is what it sounds like I didn't have a headset on I knew it was a door light my fire buddy well okay well I didn't know the intro to it I know the song this is about two minutes in yeah but know. you know I, it's a long song I know the I can, I, I can pretty well my wife will vouch for me you're good with music. I can, I granted that most of these are older tunes, but there are songs, it's a channel we put on, and I can pick, I can... On satellite? Nine, yes. What channel? Well, it's it's Sinatra's. Okay. I can I can get nine out of ten of the artists. artists. That's good. And I, I'm... Considering that they show you what artist is playing no, on the radio. She looks at it. <laughs> she looks at it when we travel, and right. she says, who is this? And I will get nine out of ten. Now, occasionally I'll get one to throw me like Natalie Cole because her voice is somewhat generic, you know. But I'll even get back. I mean, I can get some pretty obscure singers. Now, See, that's the one era that I'm not very good in is like 50s. Well, you know, I think is, 60s up I got a yeah, lot. Yeah, well, you're good on it. You're very good at it. The thing about it is a lot of this music was before my time. This, right. is some, this was my parents' music, you know, some of the stuff that I hear on this channel. But if I can get, I get when I get up past the seventies, it's a little dip, more difficult for me because I, I was too busy working to right. listen to music that much. But but in, in terms and of and everybody this, doesn't like the new music that comes out when you're an adult. Like I'm only twenty three. I, I I feel like I hate most new music that really? comes out with a passion. Well, who do you like? Uh, I like a lot of like newer stuff. Yeah, well, Tom. I Schmitz, like what like, do like you an obscure like? British band called the Arctic Monkeys, but I've that's like the only really? new band I like. I don't know the Arctic The rest Monkeys. of them are pretty much dead. Oh, I got all their albums at home. I forgot Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> what, what do I like? I, I just took Sinatra out of the CD player to put the Violent Femmes in. Mm. Don't the Violent Femmes are a punk band from the late 70s and early 80s. If I went through my iTunes, I could tell you what I listened to, but... I mean, I'm a huge James Taylor guy, but I don't listen to his music that much. See, and I wouldn't put, I wouldn't give you two, two, two wooden nickels for James. Taylor. And I don't really don't care what you give for it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I would, took him a while because, to get that out. Yeah, and I'm, uh, <laughs> I've, you know, I, I was with him from Fire and Rain all the way through the first time I heard it. Uh, naturally, I don't, I don't listen to, to too much of that music though. I hear a little bit, of, a little bit of country. I hear a little bit. Of, I I've been listening classic, to a lot of country classic. lately because yeah. I, to me, rock music is dead now. You know, there's no new know rock acts rock that are yet. awesome. What exactly, music? country music is, is the new rock music. It's, I think. it's the new uh, country now. Is if Leonard Skinner was around now, buddy, they'd be played on country stations for sure. They'd be some yeah, rock, be rock is now the new Probably, country. Credence, yeah. that's country, pretty much. You know, Credence was rock and roll back in the day, now. but right, now but I think it'd be country considered station. country. So would the Eagles. The Eagles would be played on country stations. Every now and then, blues is good, but you can't get too much good blues. Uh, Not a big blues. See, but I'm, I so gave up on listening to music. What is that? On oh, a regular you just make basis. Your own music. No, on a regular basis, like five or six years ago, I literally do 
talk radio. The, the radio we do. I do talk radio. I'm a big talk radio. It soothes the beast, though. You know, there's proof that uh, that that listening to music does, in fact, relax you oh, and actually yeah. prolong your life. It makes you more, you know. Well, There's those certain you. songs that whatever, however, T.O'd I am about any situation. That comes on, I'm straight. Listening to sports talk soothes me. <laughs> you know, you know what I, fa- I yell at it. You know what my favorite thing I want to do? You know I'm in my, my car favorite, screaming about how wrong I think. You know what my favorite talk show <laughs> right now on the radio is, though, besides, of course, the voice of Ocala? I really, really like Clark Howard. Yeah, I did too. I, I, I really heard, like Clark. That's what you heard every day. Yeah, well, yeah. but you learn. It, it, He's it's very, very informative. informative. Yes, He's a smart right. dude. Yes. Knows football. He does know football real well too. Yeah, especially the pros. You're not big on college. But he's very good at like like he just told me about a I listened about a week Personally. ago. And there was a new well, I was listening about a week <laughs> ago and there was he said about Abio, the new phone system, the new cellular phone company coming out. And lo and behold, there's a kiosk in the mall right now, and I went and talked to him today and found out that everything Clark Howard said about him is accurate. He's a cheapskate. Which he is, is and that's why I like him. So I like him. Yeah, there's a new social media out. I'm going to tell you guys about later on. It's called Spout. You'll be hearing me talk about it a lot. It's a new concept. You'll about, be spouting off. Well, it could be that. But the thing is, this is a new thing now, especially in sports. You'll hear some big names. Okay. I'll tell you about it. We'll be talking about it on this show probably a little bit in the near future. Meanwhile, like I said, don't go trying to get your phone if you leave it behind, like this guy did. Guy left his phone on a train. Miami man jumped from a moving commuter train last week. <laughs> Wasn't very funny, <clears throat> but apparently he just got taken off life support. He jumped. He just he left his phone on a bench. He realized he had it. He boarded a tri rail train in Palm Beach. He realized he left his phone, broke the glass, the emergency cord, stopped, and pried open the glass, and unfortunately he jumped out. He landed on the wet platform and had serious head injury dead. When you leave your phone behind, don't jump off the train. Never. Coming up next, much more coming your way. Stay tuned. We've got Talk Horses right here on the Horseville Callum. WOCA, the source. Hi, this is Lisa Midget, owner of Kinetic Motion Fitness here in Ocala, Florida. A lot of you have experienced our great classes and personal small group training, but did you know we now offer dynamic workouts on DVD? These high quality, locally produced, effective DVD workouts can go where you go. Going on vacation? No problem. We can go with you. Friends and relatives out of town who are jealous that you get to come to KMF? No problem. We ship anywhere in the United States for free. Our great lineup of four DVDs includes Kinetic Achieve, Kinetic Couples, Kinetic Core and Kinetic Campus. Four great workouts for the entire family on DVD. Sound interesting? Check them out on our website at kmfocala.com. While you're there, check out our class schedule and come see us. We're only five minutes from downtown across from the Skylark Plaza. Visit kmfocala.com and like us on Facebook. KMF will get you results at our studio or at home with one of our DVDs. Kinetic Motion Fitness. We're ready when you are. Visit kmfocala.com for more information. Bank approval. Vehicle purchase price effects trade allowance. Warning! There's been a zombie outbreak in Marion County. Do you feel like a zombie in your old car? Are you embarrassed to be seen driving around town? Are your monthly payments sucking the life out of you? You may be driving dead. <coughs> hey, this is Chris Beers from Prestige Auto Sales. If you're driving dead, I've got the cure. All you need is $13 down to drive alive in a nicer, newer car today. Why drive a car that rots your brain when you can drive a car that's not a pain? Put just $13 down and feel alive in a nicer, newer ride. Plus, my guaranteed credit approval process could bring you back to life. Even if bad credit has held you back in the past, I'm saving Marion County residents from driving dead. So trade in your terrifying old ride, bring in $13 to put down, and drive home today. I believe everyone deserves to drive a nicer, newer car, and this week it only takes $13. But hurry, this offer ends once we've revived 47 drivers. My name is Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala or call 694-1234. Yes, 694-1234. See our Prestige! Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A. News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. W-O-C-A. Ocala. 
Now is the time to take advantage of Florida Credit Union CD specials. Our 36-month CD comes in at 1.26% APY. A 24-month is working for you at 1.0% APY. And our 12-month at 0.75% APY. All CD rate specials require $10,000 minimum. With friendly service and rates like these, it's not hard to see why Florida Credit Union has your CD options covered. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Call 352-237-8222 for more information. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Next time you get a fountain drink at a fast food joint, you might want to skip the ice. That's because samples found that their ice contained higher levels of bacteria than samples of water taken from their toilets. You and I may have a virtual doppelganger out there. That's somebody with a nearly identical name and email address as you. Keep the office at about 75, 77 degrees. You'll see productivity soar and your workers will feel much happier. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Pick up your copy of Lady Lake Magazine featuring local businesses and issues and written by local volunteers. Lady Lake Magazine has become a must-read in Marion, Lake, and Sumter Counties, audited by Circulation Verification Council and serving the area for 23 years. Plus, Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. All we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 352-804-1223 and pick up your copy of Lady Lake Magazine today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA The Source. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. ABC News Now, I'm Joan Bennett. Signs that Washington is moving closer to reaching an agreement over the debt ceiling help push stocks higher. President Obama and Senate leaders all expressed optimism. New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez says evidence found at a New Mexico youth ranch for troubled kids corroborates allegations by current and former students of abuse. An Amber Alert was issued Friday after officers found the ranch empty. Nine boys have since been found safe. The 72-year-old hunter who was lost for more than two weeks in a northern California forest after hitting his head says he survived by eating squirrels and other animals that he shot or caught. Deer hunter Gene Penaflor was found Saturday by fellow hunters in the Mendocino National Forest. More people are taking the train. Amtrak carried a record number of passengers in the past year. Ridership on the Northeast Corridor between Boston and Washington was the second highest ever. This is ABC News. Jay Farner here with Quicken Loans. Here are two simple words that should make you reconsider waiting to buy a home. Buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,350. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 4.375%, APR 4.64%, that payment could support a $270,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6%, that same $1,350 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $225,000 mortgage. That's $45,000 worth of home that you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. And for three years in a row now, J.D. Power & Associates has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. Give Quicken Loans a call today at 800-QUICKEN or go to quickenloans.com and maximize your buying power. For J.D. Power & Associates, Associates award information, visit jdpower.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance calls for cost information. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. I'm just sick of all the amateur stuff, you know? I mean, like, if I'm paying top dollar, I want a little production value, you know? Like some editing, transition, something, some music. Don't worry. We didn't leave you. He's gone. He's not gone. That's the whole point. He's never gone. Our bosses say we gotta stay. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. About your sensei. 
Step out of your sensei. It's time for the second hour of The Voice of Ocala. Hoo-ha! You ever come across anything like time travel? Come on, stick around. It's free. If you win, you win. If you lose, you still win. Hour two of the program. Buddy Martin here with you on a Monday, 14th of October. It's fall. It's uh, time to uh, talk about football at 5 o'clock, among other things. Also time to talk some horse racing, which we'll do momentarily with Tammy Gant from the FTBOA. She's going to fill us in. We're going to do some picks today. We're efforting to get our pick sheets in front of us so we can start making some kind of representative selection by a group here. I don't know. It's a group of... I don't know. We've had too much luck in the horses, the ponies, the last couple of years. JJ, you had one. Who'd you have? Palace Malice. And Palace Malice. Uh, I don't know that Tom and I have done very good on them picking the ponies. No. Lately, but, well, we get Tammy Gant to um, coach us up. Tammy, a very knowledgeable, not just a horse racing person, but somebody that uh, has a great affinity for uh, for newspaper writing and and columnists and horse racing writers and uh, for the written words. She's very knowledgeable about that and a writer herself. So. We'll uh, find out. You know, the, the Raiders Cup is a very important. We make a big deal out of the Kentucky Derby. It still is, it still is a great, uh, whatever that noise was, <clears throat> in my ear. Uh, it's it, um, it's a great event. Still, the Derby is the granddaddy and all that stuff. But the, for a week, the boy, the uh, the Breeders' Cup is a huge deal. Huge a lot deal. of money. Yeah, and a lot of television, a lot of money, and uh, it's a showcase event. So, in the network, NBC goes all out on that week to showcase um, horse racing, which is what they need. You know, you need a representative. And horse, let's face it, you know, given the, uh, the, the problems that horse racing's had, it's difficult to sustain. It costs a lot of money to, to feed the horses and raise the horses, and your chances are so slim of getting a horse to post in, in something like the Derby. And they're fragile animals, and uh, to get a horse that can run three grueling races – just a few weeks apart to win a triple ground. That's why they hadn't been one in so long. Last one, of course, being affirmed in 1978 from Ocala, Florida. So it's hard. And horse racing is a beautiful sport. I love it. Don't get a chance to see it too much. But the people who are in it are such a salt of the earth at one level and so rich on the other. And somehow they all get together and they form a team. They get an animal out there and it's jockey. It's jockey and, and horse uh, working together in tandem. So all that stuff going on. So uh, Tammy will be here momentarily, whatever those odd sounds are we're hearing in our heads. So uh, uh, also the program later on, we got Dr. Buddy in the house. So when is watching football get to be overbearing? When does it become a problem? When is it something that's causing your relationship problems? I've got some communicates today from some females who have uh, – some of these are off the Internet – uh, people who are having that same problem, what do you do? What's the advice you can give women if their husband watch too much sports television, particularly in football season? And the odds of that happening are pretty good this time of year because there's so much going on. I mean, if you're a sports fan, how can you not turn on college football Saturday? And then when you got games like you had yesterday in the NFL with the, with the Patriots and the Saints, you know, boy, and then at the same time, a remarkable finish at that game, and then of course the great night in Boston, uh, when Big Poppy hits the grand slam, and the looked like it was hopeless for the Red Sox. They bounced back and win game two, and it looks like they're going to have the door closed on them because they lost last night. School was out, uh, so that was a huge night. Yes, we'll tell you about that, JJ. We'll, we'll find out how much of that you watched too, and how dedicated. Very disappointing. We'll, we'll we'll see we'll see how dedicated. When do you, here's the question we always ask the police when knowing when to shoot. When's it time to turn it off? That's the question. When is it time to turn it off? Because uh, you can just uh, sometimes you hit the overload, you know. I mean, you just get to a point where you, well, you, you know, you, you, there's another. What is yes. it? What is going on? Man, we got here? people in the back we doing things. I don't know what they're doing. Please tell them to keep the noise out of our heads. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take a break, JJ. Take a break. That's come a back. We got idea, Tammy buddy. Gant uh, coming up, and she'll we'll pick some horses and get our sound straightened out. Right here on the Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, the source. 
If you need a sign or a banner for your yard or your business or your campaign, I'd recommend you go to Signs Unlimited at 318 South Magnolia in Ocala. Screen printing, embroidery, digital graphics. Do what I did when we needed signs for the Save the Marion Theater Group. Go see Vic Buttermore at Signs Unlimited if you want quality work with a fast turnaround from somebody who is deeply committed to his community and always ready to assist you. There's a reason Vic's slogan is, it's our business to make your business better. Sign up for Signs Unlimited. Call 732-7341 today. Since 1976, Daniel L. Hightower, a lawyer, has been fighting for accident victim justice in North Central Florida and statewide. He believes everyone in America should follow the rules, including the insurance companies. He and his firm have experience fighting for victims of personal injury, wrongful death, workers' compensation, and Social Security disability, as well as serving those in need of help with bankruptcy, simple wills, and estate plans. The mission at the law offices of Daniel L. Hightower, PA, is to represent deserving clients and recover the maximum benefits they are entitled to by law in a timely manner. In personal injury and workers' compensation cases, there are no fees or costs unless a recovery is made. The law office of Daniel L. Hightower is located at 7 East Silver Springs Boulevard, Suite 300. For your free consultation, call 352-629-7777 or 1-888-LAW-1976 and visit danhightower.com for more information. Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice and the proud sponsor of Ask the Cops. This reprise of Ask the Cops is proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, PA lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. This is Marion County Sheriff Chris Blair's answer to a question posed by Buddy Martin. If I had to rank top three types of crimes that you're going and you're dealt with, after drugs, what are the other two or three that you guys would say take up most of your resources uh, and your time. Well, number one, I mean, you know, certainly drugs is what's leading all crime. Um, with the exception of homicide, where you, you may have a domestic violent type case and the husband kills the wife or vice versa. Um, the ones that take time are the burglaries, the thefts, you know, the auto burglaries. That reprise of Ask the Cops was proudly brought to you by Daniel L. Hightower, lawyer, fighting for accident victim justice since 1976. Be sure to tune in to Ask the Cops the second and fourth Friday of every month during the 4 o'clock hour on The Voice of Ocala. Ocala Radio, W-O-C-A. Oh, look who just walked in the room, Joe Wiesner from What's Up Ocala. Hey, Joe, I'm looking for something to do this weekend. You got any ideas? Absolutely. Check out our event calendar online at www.whatsupocala.com, and there is plenty of events there for you. Daily news updates to event reviews and magazine articles. Really? We've organized it all in one place online for you to cut through all of the hassle of finding something to do this weekend. We have a daily event calendar, a bi-monthly magazine, and we also do daily news articles. All right, Joe, that's perfect. Thanks so much. Yeah. Whatsupocala.com. Howdy folks, R.L. here. I want to tell you about the best five buck bargain anywhere for a limited time Dairy Queen at Silver Springs is offering a sandwich or chicken strips, fries, a medium drink, and a Sunday for only $5 till 4 p.m. And new on the menu is the Orange Julius line of real fruit smoothies, including protein smoothies. Our fresh made garden salads go great with a fruit smoothie. Dairy Queen, Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. This is a public notice. Local residents can now save thousands of dollars on their next car, truck, or SUV. It's not a tent sale. Because no tent is big enough to hold this many cars. It's OcalaForSale.com. Say goodbye to Sticker Shock. OcalaForSale.com has thousands of vehicles with no stickers at all. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoding was proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. News Talk 1370, WOCA invites you to discover your full business potential. News Talk Radio is the perfect environment for your advertising. WOCA's News Talk format pinpoints information hungry, better educated, high income adults. So use us to talk to them. Call 732 8000. 732 8000. We're Ocala News Talk Radio. News Talk 1370, WOCA. This is Tom Smith live in the WOCA studios with this news break brought to you by the Angelo State Farm Agency. According to Ocala.com, Rusty Corley, Corley, the principal of East Marion Elementary School, is optimistic that school and health officials are winning the war against the norovirus virus at his school. Corley said 114 students were absent or were sent home with symptoms on Monday, down from 211 on Friday. Numbers look much better this morning, Corley said, not at 9 a.m. this morning. 
This news break was brought to you by the Angelo State Farm Agency. Join Angie Weekly for her Biz Buzz or Good Neighbor Award. Welcome back to the Voice Pro Column. Pleasure now to introduce, uh, I, can, I can tell you who she is. I just can't remember her whole title because it's so long. Cause she's so important. <laughs> she didn't have two. She, she had one. She has two, and they're all real long. So I'm going to just say my friend Tammy Gann is here from the FTBOA who has lots of titles. Hi, Tammy. Hi, buddy. Good to see you again. It's great to see you. Glad to be here. Been a while. I know you've been a busy lady. I, I wouldn't be able to catch up in just the time we have here, but... Suffice to say, you got a lot going on. We're going to talk about it some of it today. Yeah, I think it sounds great. Yeah, I've been here in Ocala for just a little over a year with the FTBOA, the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, and we've been when doing a lot of great things moving forward. Seems like yesterday that I remember you were at the Boys and Girls Club dinner at uh, out at uh, Golden Ocala, and I remember you being there with your your friend and uh, introducing you at, at the table and uh, having a conversation there about what life was all about. So how has your year in Ocala been? It's been wonderful. People are very, very welcoming. And it was so appreciative that night when you introduced me. It really made me feel a part of the community. And, and um, since then, I've been very, very involved. Many other charity events in the community. And we really try to incorporate the, the horse world and the industry in with the greater community, the business community, and, and the charities as best we can. And so it's been a, a great welcome and a great year. That's good to know because I had a nice conversation with Crystal Furnham, and we'll talk about that in a minute about what she's doing. <clears throat> and there's this issue that you know we all know it's there is that we have not gotten that connection that we'd like to have between the community and the horse industry. There have been a few crossovers, a few families like uh, the Grinders or Farrells, what have you, but basically uh, it's been almost there's been this division. And not necessarily by intention, just the way it was. You know, we have this wonderful industry with all these great people and um uh and, and what have you um you know um involved and then at the same time we've got this community that's just long but long established um and and now there's feels like there's some synergism that's developed can you speak to that yeah i actually work with crystal on the um uh, equine alliance committee and one of the things that that we noticed was um and it happened in lexington also um in the horse community the horse folks have a different schedule than the business folks so horse folks are up early and and moving and going and go to bed early and and then your business people tend to be networking in the evenings and and weekends and your horse, horse people are out uh, at the sales or at the races and so what happens is there's a disconnect just by virtue of schedules and when that happens um, you lose a part of that um, of your community when you don't reconnect and there's uh, so many opportunities for for economic development where businesses can partner with folks in the horse industry so that they can make connections to increase sales in their businesses and get get people in their restaurants and and, and use their services and vice versa and so trying to make that connection with the equine alliance and we did an event last thursday night that you promoted on your show and it was it was incredible we had um, so many more businesses than we had last year so many different horse venues and event places and different breeds and disciplines and what we saw was a group that that what we wanted which was people working together to help um, build their businesses you know it's such a really exciting time in ocala and marion county with so many things that are beginning to bubble up after a real tough time i don't have to tell you the horse industry had as hard a time as anybody did uh, and now things are starting to bubble up again. Uh, we've got so many things um, not now being moved from the back burner to the front burner. We know, of course, about Silver Springs. We talk about that on the show a lot. It's now open as a state park. Got a ways to go there, but at least it's there. The walls are down and it belongs, in my mind, to the state and to the county. Uh, and, and that's a big, could have a big economic impact on our community. We've got, uh, of course, Ocala 49 FedEx being there, which is, you know, a, a, a home run. I mean, every, every aspect of it. Uh, and then we've got the horse industry, which, of course, uh, is, is, is a big part of our economy here in the community. The building business is starting to come back a little bit. You know, manufacturing is still going well. There are a lot of elements here in our community in the economic sector which are beginning to show promise. What a great time now for everybody to work together so that, you know, it's the old cliche, rising tide raises all ships. That's it, isn't it? 
Yeah, I, I agree. I think that I've heard that slogan in our office a few times and, and even at some of the events where um, we're starting to see an increase on all the different sectors. And what's great is when the OBS sales last year um, in March were up 44 percent and they brought in almost $50 million at that sale, what happens is that that flows into the rest of the economy. And then what happens is other businesses then see the fruits of that and they're also able to succeed. And so all the sectors, I think, now have kind of gotten over that hump of the, the economic conditions and we're starting to see that growth. And it's really wonderful because there's a lot of new people in the community and there's a lot of mainstay people like yourself who kept some events going, the Kentucky Derby Party in the past, and some things that were really important for the community to happen. And now there's opportunity now for those new folks to jump in and say, hey, I want to be a part of this and, and let's push this further. And <clears throat> it seems like it's become such more, more of an international community in terms of um, the horse business now. We have, a, we, have a, we have, I know we have a lot of South, some South Americans here who have, have farms and have a big uh, family that owns one of the restaurants in town. They're involved. And so there's, there's, there are people who are not only just horsemen, the horsemen, but they also have businesses here in the uh, commercial sector of our, of our city. Um, and uh, it's, uh, I know that there's, uh, last time I heard with the number of farms where you can tell me, but we have to count. Remember, it's thoroughbred, and we have a certain number of them are, 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 uh, are, uh, are jumpers, and a certain amount of them are quarter horses, pacifinos, and what have you. So can you kind of go over that, 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 that demographic of horses? How, much, how many of them are thoroughbred farms, and roughly, and, and how many do we have? And update us on the stats. Sure. What's interesting is the last economic survey that was done in the United States by the American Horse Council was in 2007. And at that time, we found that Marion County had the largest number of horses and ponies in the country, in that county. And second was Lancaster, Pennsylvania, due to the Amish community. So it told us we have this, this huge horse population that's not just thoroughbreds. But what we found is obviously thoroughbreds, um, this is the second largest breeding um area in the country and, and one of the top five in the world here in the Marion County market and Central Florida. So we have um, over 600 thoroughbred farms, but in addition to that, like you mentioned, some of the other breeds, we have the, the foundation sire for the Gypsy Vanners. We have some grand champion Paso Finos, uh, miniature horses, uh, Clydesdales, you name it. We have many, many breeds representative. In fact, we just brought into Central Florida one of the most um, uh, famous um, women, Miss Tankersley, when she passed, um, she's from Scottsdale, Arizona, and started the major horse shows in the country for Arabians. She actually, most of her herd is now here in Central Florida, and we'll be working with the Arabian Nights in Ar Orlando, but also here in Ocala area, and you'll start to see a lot of billboards in town that are promoting the Arabians. So all the Frank breeds, Hennessy's and the Arabians. Ex exactly. Yeah. Frank Hennessy's Arabians. They're very involved. And so um, all of those different things, when you look at the different scope of breeds, um, we believe that we have the most variety of breeds in the country. And we're, we're actually, our economic survey that we did is asking questions not only for how many people work at your farm and how many people are employed because of the horse sector, but also what types of horses are here and what types of needs that they may have that are special. For example, Arabians need special costumes that they perform in when they um, go to their shows. And of course, thoroughbreds need special racing equipment. So looking even deeper. And so we just finished our economic survey that was for racing breeds in the state of Florida. And then the Chamber Economic Partnership is partners with us and Ocala Breeder Sales and some other breed associations for a survey we're doing in January, which is a focus on Marion County. And so we wanted to get those, those recent numbers so that we can look at what our impact is for job creation, um, job retention, and then also how that, that goes across all the other sectors. Uh, as we said, Crystal Furnham was here recently, and we talked about the economic impact directly. When you have hits, and if you have any numbers, throw them out there. I know there's a tremendous amount of cash that comes in our community. If we just count the bed tax alone, uh, what it, and ours is very cheap, by the way, uh, and, and the amount of people who come here, stay here, eat here, you know, entertain here, sleep here, buy groceries, whatever they do, all here. And uh, uh, it's a, it's, you have a number on that? I mean, it's a lot. It's a millions of dollars to come in our community just for hits. 
and, well, and, and sale. I, I think that that's one of the new things that folks that are involved with the Visitors Bureau want to put a number on that. And so that's part of the survey because the hits from January through March, you see the restaurants full. We can see the fr what happens when they come into town. Um, every place is busy. All the tax shops are busy. FedEx is busy because they're delivering those beautiful, gorgeous show saddles to um, the big um, delivery area that they have at hits. I thought about that. And you, it's amazing at the amount of things that, that, that people are involved in for that. And I mean, when I when I go out there, I can sit here and say, wow, the golf cart rentals, the, the taxis to and from the airport. So there's so many ways that, that, that they're driving driving the economic conditions here. And and hits really, really, really is a big, big thing. And it's so big, it's inter it's so big internationally, and we kind of take it for granted it's in our backyard. But in addition to that, we see even more growth where our publication last year is their official publication on site, the Horse Capital Digest. We actually had to reprint issues each week because we found that we go so quickly because people were just grabbing that information. And of course, the folks that, that, that were advertising it, it was great because they, they then were seeing more people in their facilities because of it. Uh, so hits, it would be great to get a number on. I think that the, the, the hits folks themselves can't even put a number on that because of the amount of mom and pop things where they're they're renting out houses and they're renting parts of farms and literally you know socking in here from December through March. So it's an interesting number when we finally get to what that's going to be. And we're talking, not talking in the hundreds, we're talking here in the thousands, I believe. We're talking about people. Oh, of thousands of people, Staying yes. For a long and period of time. To give you an idea, each week when they give out the gift bags, I believe the number they told me was 4,500 people on wow. the grounds. And that's coming and going. So not at the oh. same 4,500 yeah. every uh, week. That's still a lot, though. I mean, it's that's a, a huge number, yeah. That is a lot. So uh, interesting. Tammy Gann is our, uh, is our special guest from the FTBOA. She's been here a year and. By all accounts, uh, buzzing right along. All the what are some of the things you got in mind? You mentioned the you mentioned the survey. What are some things you're working on for the future for the for the horse industry in, in Marion County? Well, I think that the survey is going to help be a driver for us. And one of the other things we did is, uh, we sound a little survey happy, but one of the first things that we did when I came in last year was we did a communication survey. We wanted to see how folks in, in our membership, which spans the state of Florida and across the country, but it's really primarily in Marion County, um, a, a majority of our members, is to find out the best ways that, that we can communicate with them, the information efficiently. And um, we found that the things that we're doing are working, and then we can expand upon those. And so so that's been a, a real driver for us. And I think our next part, too, is then looking at the services that our members use the most. So then we can, again, um, try to offer some member benefits and discounts for the, the members and also for other horse, horse folks in the community because there's obviously discounts in bulk buying. And so when you're buying at large quantities at a horse farm for hay or for grain or for other types of merchandise, then it's nice to see if we can, you know, have some shared buying power, if you will. Tammy, I know you're uh, you're you're really up to speed on all the information, but you're really also um, you're a sports fan, and Huge, uh, yeah. and you're a fan of of, of of writing and writers, and 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 uh, we've had this conversation before. Uh, and today, your mi your mission is going to be pretty uh, difficult because you're going to have to help us coach us through the picking of the Breeders' Cup. You're going to coach us. Now, I know you have other media teams, but we're going to ask you to personally coach us. We <laughs> need it the most. Okay, now. Now, you guys are going to look like my favorites by doing this, but yes, I'm going to well, coach you. I mean, yeah, you, know how you got to. I mean, we're, we're pretty much hopeless. You're my favorite don't. radio team. Right, okay, there you go. And we have, who all we got in this contest? You guys, this is like not like some schlumpy thing. we got to put people to compete against. So get your ears on, will you please? We've got Chris Price, the sports director Channel from 20. Channel 20. Channel 20. We've got Carlos Medina from the Ocala Star Banner. That's a good band. Equestrian Beat. He knows a lot about it. We've got um, a fella, Kevin uh, Shaley, who's with the Chamber Economic Partnership. Yeah, he's just Louisville Cardinal. He doesn't know anything. He'll be picking those out-of-state horses, maybe. Oh, of course he will be. We'll get him. Um, we've, we've also got myself, who's a contributing editor for the publications, and then our wire-to-wire -wire editor, David Allen, who hails from uh, Detroit, Michigan originally, but he's been in South Florida, so he's probably got some Florida connections that he'll focus on. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Michelle Hemingway, who represents the Hilton of Ocala, who mm -hmm. we partner with for our Breeders' Cup event. Okay. But she's international. Um, okay. She's... Um, 
I would say South Africa and also Europe, and so she's going to piss pick those those turf horses, if you will. Ah. She'll like the grass runners. I so. got gotcha. you. So you have a team too. So you're kind of helping us. You're get, but you're you're helping us, even though it's going to hurt you. Actually, it won't hurt you. <laughs> I don't know, you know, because I look at horses a little differently. Some people look at their past performances, but I'm a a, a horse person where I like to see them and I like to see that heart. And I, I look at what the, the, the passion is when they're running down the stretch or what that look is or how their sire or dam looked. That's what I go by. So I don't – that's where I get kind of lucky because another horse, you could look at his past performance, but I might play a horse that doesn't have a great past performance because I like the horse's heart. All right, so we're focusing on the on the classic, aren't we? Let's focus. On, I've got a couple ones to look at, but I think the classic will be – We can be give you a couple. We, we have the chart in front of us, so we're good on guessing. Just oh, names. I mean, right. how okay. about if we ask you about a couple of horses and let's, then you come back? Let's do that. All right. JJ, you got your list over there? JJ's just got one he likes. He, he has a well, – He picked him, picked him to win. He picked him to win last time. JJ, who is it? Palace Malice, buddy. He's got Palace Malice. Oh, Palace Malice. Yeah, it's, Palace. it's future at 8-1 to one right now on sportingbook.com. And I, I really think that's probably high for Palace Malice. I think that the horse will come down in odds. But it's tough to say because for the classic, you've already got – one, two, like six Florida connections. But you got Fort Larned, who was trained in his early training over at Lamholm, and they always say they train champions there. And I, I do believe it because Fort Larned's a very impressive horse. You've got uh, Mucho Macho Man, who. Love that uh, name. Yes, I'll tell you, when he was down at Calder, everybody wanted the buttons that said Mucho Macho Man. I don't know if it was for the horse or for them because they thought the, the name was very cool. Um, and Carol and John Rio, who are a Needles Small Breeder of the War Award winners, um, have that horse. I saw he, he He was all over Mucho Macho Man. Yep. And he didn't, unfortunately... He didn't make it. He, he like Augie like Painter a lot too. Yeah, Painter. He, he Painter. early on. I think I think did Mucho Macho Man have to withdraw one of the one of the triple crown races. Yeah, um, I mean. Mucho Macho Man has uh, that really great moments, and then he also sometimes doesn't perform up to what he can. So I think he is one of your sleepers. Where if he's back on form, he'll be a good contender. You can always see about Tom too. Tom is the same. Problem, so. <laughs> Um, you also have Ron the Greek. Ron the Greek has yeah, been performing him. really well. He's also a lam Lamhole trainee. Uh, another one that's been on people's radar is actually Gradar. So Gradar on the radar. Gradar on the radar. He was uh, sold for 260000 at Palm Meadows down in Boynton Beach um, in 2011. And he was just looked very impressive coming through that sale two years ago. And so the horse just seems to get better and better over time. And the Kentucky Derby winner is getting no love orb. 20 to 1 in the futures. Yeah. No love. But think that that was, that Orb really wasn't a very good horse. He just, the track was sloppy, and so Orb won a race that wasn't a very good, fast race at the Kentucky Derby. I don't, I don't know. You know, I think people maybe just don't give him the respect he deserves. But it's been a really interesting year for three-year-olds because you had different horses win different legs of the Triple Crown, and then um, Orb hasn't performed the, in any of the summer classics. So he's sitting there as a sleeper. Um, but he's been in training. I think he was, he's, he's training well. But at twenty to one, he wouldn't be a bad play for a Superfecta. No. In two thousand eleven, uh, Fort Leonard was first, Mucho Macho Man second, and flat out third. Um, and, and, of course, that's been a few years ago. Now, these horses are, what, five-year-olds now? Yeah, a lot of these horses are going to be um, older horses that are performing. And, that, yeah. and then, again, it's who's best on that day. I know Flat Out's looking pretty good. He was bred by Nicholas Bach here in town. Um, he was consigned by Gary Mesnick, who was consigner of the year last year. So there's just so many Florida connections, and that's my problem when I go to handicap because I see these greatly trained Florida breds coming out of here or Florida connected horses, and it's hard for me to move on to another horse. But, you know, I really lean toward Flat Out. Flat Out's one of those horses, like I said, he's, he's indicative of his name. I kind of like him just by his name. And he, he runs that way. I feel like he gives his all every time, and when I talk about a horse with heart, I think of Flat Out. Mm. So that's probably who you're going to pick, right? I, you know, I probably in this one will definitely have a superfecta, so we'll probably have about four horses. So in do this we have one. to pick? What do we have to pick? You here? only have to pick the the top couple that you think top, top two? two contenders. All right, yeah. so we'll just do that. Should we do it now? Sure, sure. All right, JJ, I know you want to have your guy in there, so Palace Balance has to be one of them, but we're going to put him on the. We're gonna, I'm not going to put him at the top. We're going to put him number two, JJ. All right, Tom, we get to pick the other horse. We get a decision to make here about what the other horse is. I'm looking at flat out as one possibility. Uh, then I think game on dude. What do you think? Um, you got one you like? I never like taking the uh, 
favorite because the favorite very seldom comes in and wins in these kind of races. So I, I, I'm liking Fort Larned. That's the one I'm liking. Yeah. Okay, can we give you three horses? That'll work. Fort Larned, okay. Palace Malice, and... And um, Flat Out. Flat Out, okay. Those are our three, all right? Okay. Now, I know I can beat that bump, Chris Price. <laughs> no, because he's in, not even he's in Gainesville. He doesn't know any, we don't know much, but he doesn't know anything. Is there is there a chance that uh, we could we could amend that though in a day, you, it, it, you within twenty four hours? If, you can amend that because we Thursday. have a, we have a fourth member of our team okay. that we really should consult with Buddy before we before we awesome. go. No, 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 no. I was talking about our, our good buddy Michael. We really should oh, consult with him. Oh, yeah. Yes, we yes. really should consult. He is the fourth member of the Voice of Ocala Michael's team. Michael's not around right these days. No, yeah, but I, I got Michael He's on speed dial. You get him He's on speed dial. Dog, I, 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 I agree with you there. I think you may have a ringer in the mix. Uh, I think we, I think we consult Michael in the next 24 What's hours. What's the date of the race? Um, November 2nd is going right, to be the classic. Weeks. We got, yeah, you got a well, couple of weeks. Well, we got to turn it into her by write Thursday. Those, write those down, will you? So well, we the, you won't have to worry about your, your classic. We won't ask you that for a couple of weeks. Oh. But what we're going to focus on uh, this this Friday um, is the Philly and Mayor Sprint contenders. And so I'll give you a few. That way you can think about it a little bit. Well, we better get those off today. We won't get them. Okay, we've got Judy right, the Beauty. Judy the Beauty. Judy the Beauty. Wesley Ward trainee um, uh, coming into form. We also have... Um, Executive Privilege. Executive Privilege, very impressive horse, sold in the April 2012 OBS sale for $650,000. Um, this horse just looks every part What's of the What's horse's winner. name? Executive Privilege. That's who I want. All one word. And then we also have a, a, a horse that's been training down at Calder in South Florida by Marty Wolfson, Starship Truffles. And this horse, is, you've heard the name off and on, um, hitting the board. And then we have a Florida bred um, kind of sleeper that's sneaking in there. Um, her name is my pal Chrissy, almost like Chrissy Ooh, from Three's Company. I might have to change my mind on that. Not on my mind on that name. Um, and Chrissy actually is is a, is a Florida bred that just started to come into the rankings that we've seen. Um, you know, so we're we're pretty impressed with what um, this horse may end this up. This is a juvie race. This is a Philly and Mare Sprint contender. Oh, sprint, all right, Sprint Mares, okay. Yep, Sprint Mares. We also have another Florida bred Wildcat Lily. Wildcat Lily is interesting because the horse sold in 2010 for $10,000, sold in 2011 for $20,000, but I think the horse is worth much, much more. And all I right, so we got to make a pick here. So I'll, you want me to read them through again real no, quick? I'm going to take that. What was it? Most of my pal, my pal Chrissy? That's my pick. All right, you got to read them one more time. I've got uh, Executive Privilege. Judy the Beauty, Starship, Starship Truffles, and then also Wildcat Lily. All right, guys, what you got? Starship I Truffles. I like Starship Truffles. I need one more. Truffles. Executive Privilege. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, those are our three. Okay. That okay, who are our other three now? Flat Out. That was going to be, you had um, Flat Out, Fort Larned, and Palace Malice. Price from Fort Larned. Okay. And okay. then I know someone had thrown in there that painter. So I, if you, I guess if you do well, super, I, we'd throw painter. Can in you there. throw it? Can we get it for the same price? Painter. Oh, sure. I right, will put painter in there as a fourth. Definitely, definitely. Okay. All right. All right. So we have to have we're we're, we're competing no, no, against painters in this one, buddy. Not in this one. Now I, I, no I painter's not a, a Philly. A, 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 Painter's not a Philly. That's not a Philly. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, Painter's, painters in the other. Yeah, painter. There is another one that's just stacked full, and we haven't talked about turf horses, but I figure if we, we don't do luck, you don't have our luck hold out on the dirt, maybe we should go for the turf. Yeah. So we have a turf sprit contenders. and um, turf sprit. These are the horses that run, and the last last 100 feet, they all they make a lur they lurch home. They, that's they, right. They lay back and lay back and lay back, and boom, they make up all lost ground um. it's all about timing at the end yeah. and so what's interesting is we've got um six horses in here that have uh florida connections out of the contenders right now all right guys listen up um this florida favorite here boat trip um hundred thousand dollar horse out of the obs sale then we've got capo baston um another obs grad for one hundred seventy five thousand, and then we've got renee's got zip all one word renee's got zip is a horse that just really Bears teeth, puts the ears back, and flies. We also have a tight end touchdown for those football fans. Um, the horses um, was bred by Chad and uh, Lori Stewart here in the Ocala area. And then we've also got Unbridled's Note. And obviously, Unbridled's Note is a descendant of Unbridled uh, Kentucky Derby winners. So. Okay. Uh, those are all Florida breads? 
Those are all Florida connections, not That's, necessarily okay. Florida breads. The Florida bread in the bunch is actually tight end touchdown. That's what I'm going with. Tight That's end what we touchdown. we got to go with. And then anybody else got one they want? To know? How about Renee? Renee's got zip. You like that one? I do like that one. We'll take those two. Okay. I, I think those are some nice picks. I actually lean a little bit toward Capo Bastone because Capo oh, yeah. Bastone's won a couple couple close ones, so I like the heart that the horse has. We don't want to beat you in every race. You can't we'll, beat me in every race. I've got to give know. you a little slack there. <laughs> for having a, we want to beat our mentor and then and, you know, it would be good. <laughs> I'm mentoring you. Okay. That's right. So. Very so coming good, up on good. November it's November the, 2nd, and the actual event, um, obviously the Breeders' Cup is, is held on November 1st and November 2nd. November 1st is known as the Ladies' Day, that Friday. And then the Saturday is second. considered uh, the actual Breeders' Cup Big Day. Right. And the Classic is the finale to that. That usually will determine Horse of the Year. Not always. Um, our, our Horse of the Year last year for Florida, Little Mike, he came out of it really nice, and right. he didn't end up winning Horse of the Year in the nation, but he did very well. All right, is it Churchill Downs or is it at uh, Santa Anita? It's going to be at Santa Anita this yeah, year. Um, so you'll see all the flyers with the mountains in the background. There you go. And it's uh, 3 to 9 p.m. at the Hilton, and it's $70 per couple. It's 3 to 9 Hilton. Yep, and it's $60 for FTBOA or Chamber Economic Partnership members. And it includes a full buffet, a California-style buffet, champagne sangria, the full racing card you can watch, door prizes, hat contests, costume contests, plus we'll have the Florida-Georgia game on TV, all sorts of uh, door prizes, including beautiful hotel stays all over our wonderful state. Sounds like fun. We'll get a reminder from you before we go on again. So, Tammy Gant, thank you so much for dropping in. Appreciate it. You're Thanks welcome. for the tutelage. We won't disappoint you. I, I feel a good team right here in the making. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. Take your back. Come back for more right here on The Voice of Ocala. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. A good neighbor, State Farm is there. And so is State Farm agent Angie Lewis, working hard to serve her community as a citizen and insurance agent. Angie wants to help you as you adjust your insurance needs to your life. From everything to helping educate your teen driver to protecting your family against everyday risk. She wants to change the way you perceive insurance by developing relationships with their clients, which is why Angie and her staff are proud to be a part of so many good causes in Ocala. In turn, she has chosen to single out those who step up as leaders. Each month on The Voice of Ocala, Angie spotlights a good neighbor, saluting those who give exceptional service or do random acts of kindness to others. For this, Angie was written up in State Farm's National Magazine. Angie also supports local businesses with a regular biz buzz. The Angela State Farm Agency is located at 1122 Northeast 36th Avenue, where visitors are always welcome and the coffee pot is always on. Hello, I'm Dawn Lovell, lead event designer and owner at Party Time Rentals. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make an event spectacular? Well, look no further. It's what we do every day. Whether you're hosting an intimate dinner for 10 or a gala for thousands, at Party Time Rentals, we find just the right style and elegance to make your event a success. Our extensive inventory of the finest in chandeliers, tents, crystal, china, and specialty items is featured in our fabulous showroom. Stop by and say hello. It's a great way to get ideas for an event and experience for yourself how you can make your party time special. Party Time Rentals, located on Southwest 10th Street, just off Route 200 in Ocala, and off Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville. For more information, call 352-629-8858. That's 352-629-8858. The party begins at party time. Your home for Florida State football all season long. WOCA, The Source. Aliens? Aliens? Yes, George. George, you're all wet. I went to Devon Self Storage and put back my fishing gear. Okay. You know Devon Self Storage is open early and you had all day to bring your fishing gear back. And they're right across from Hobby Lobby. I know. I have my own code to get into Devon Self Storage. And their phone number, too, is 873-0777. So why did you wait till it started raining? I didn't. I slipped getting the boat out of the water. Boat. Bye. George. 
Phoenix Promotional Solutions, your company supplier of banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Where you give them approved artwork by noon, the next day by 4 p.m., you pick up your banners, digital decals, yard signs, and magnetic signs. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. That's 368-2404. Don't forget, they do vehicle wraps also. Phoenix Promotional Solutions, 368-2404. Don't ever miss a single edition of the Mike Huckabee Show. We're going to have a whole lot of fun talking the big issues of the day. We'll talk to the newsmakers and the issues that made them a newsmaker, as well as we'll bring you some entertainment, some fun. You never know what's going to happen on the Mike Huckabee Show. Don't miss it. Join Mike Huckabee every weekday from noon to 3 exclusively on WOCA The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. Wear it, Florida. Sunshine will mix with clouds this afternoon. High 84 to 87. Cloudy tonight, low 65 to 68. Partial sun Tuesday with a shower. High 86 to 88. And partly sunny on Wednesday. High 87 to 89. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Andy Robb. Hi, this is Joe, and I'm your host for the new show, Damage Control, every Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m., brought to you by Damage Control Services. We're going to be discussing floods, fires, storm and tree damage, sinkholes, mold, and many other disasters that you need to know about, how to prevent and prepare for them, as well as what to do when it happens and what to expect after it happens. This is Damage Control, Tuesdays at 10.30, right here on The Source. We're back on the Voice of Ocala. Buddy Martin, I'm Tom Smith, and I'm Buddy Martin, J.J. LaSalva. Buddy, I read this story this weekend, and I said, are you kidding me? It common, you, know, you know how you're always a common sense guy. Just use common sense to come up with a good answer, good, good way to handle something. Just like you. Right. Yeah. There's a 17-year-old, Aaron Cox, that has been... Stripped of her role as captain of the volleyball team at her high school and suspended for five games. Why, might you ask? Why? Did she get drunk? <laughs> was she doing drugs or something? No, she went to a party where one of her friends was drunk to take her home because she was too intoxicated to drive. Mm. The school has a zero policy, though, and said she was at the party, even if she was there to pick up her drunk friend so her friend didn't drive, that she violated the school policy and has been stripped of her role as captain of the volleyball team and suspended for five games, and it's going on her permanent school record because she was there to pick up a friend of hers who was intoxicated. What kind of message is this sending to teenagers? I know you're not supposed to drink, but let's be honest. We all know that teenagers go to parties and they drink. When another teenager offers to be the designated driver and shows up in good faith and is taking the, ch the other child home as a sober driver, and the school then, the backlash of her good deed is that the school suspends her for five games from the volleyball team, strips her of her captain status, and adds it to her school record. Are you kidding me? What is this world coming to, buddy? Hardly sounds fair to me. I'm going to jump here and, and add in this here real fast. We have not gotten the doctor buddy today. My fault. Our interview is oh, long, we did not get a doctor buddy. But I'm going to read one thing because we did talk about it. And after the break, we'll, uh, we'll skip tweets and quotes and we'll answer it. Football addiction. Here's uh, the note. Every wife knows what it's like to watch her husband watch football. Sometimes you wonder, how can they sit there for hours and not get bored? Other times you're just frustrated. They choose to spend their weekends chained to the couch instead of helping you around the house. Well, there are some solutions to this, and although you can't change a person, there are some things you can do to make this continuous sports watching more bearable. We'll give you those answers next. Stay tuned right here to the Voice Bowl Gallup. 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. Recently, I had a great conversation with General Manager Pat Murray on the special events at Country Club of Ocala. We have a lot of uh, events, special events here that are that are geared towards the family. Uh, Easter comes to mind. We have the, an Easter bunny who hops around on the driving range at 
we usually hide somewhere in a neighborhood of 3,000 eggs and, 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 and turn them loose and let them go harvest the eggs. We have a great family celebration here on the 4th of July where it's, it's a traditional cookout, if you will, and as the, as the sun goes down, the driving range becomes alive with uh, probably one of the better fireworks displays in, in the area. Uh, breakfast with Santa is a big, is a big deal. Country Club of Ocala, where the Easter Bunny, Santa, and all the children, large and small, are a big deal on every special occasion. For more information, call 352-237-6644. That's 352-237-6644. Country Club of Ocala, proud sponsor of the Bundy Gator Report, right here on The Source. Commercial bank approval. Vehicle purchase price effects straight along. Warning, there's been a zombie outbreak in Marion County. Do you feel like a zombie in your old car? Are you embarrassed to be seen driving around town? Are your monthly payments sucking the life out of you? You may be driving dead. <coughs> hey, this is Chris Beers from Prestige Auto Sales. If you're driving dead, I've got the cure. All you need is $13 down to drive alive in a nicer, newer car today. Why drive a car that rots your brain when you can drive a car that's not a pain? Put just $13 down and feel alive in a nicer, newer ride. Plus, my guaranteed credit approval process could bring you back to life. Even if bad credit has held you back in the past, I'm saving Marion County residents from driving dead. So trade in your terrifying old ride, bring in $13 to put down, and drive home today. I believe everyone deserves to drive a nicer, newer car, and this week it only takes $13. But hurry, this offer ends once we've revived 47 drivers. My name is Chris Spears, and I'm a dealer for the people. Visit Prestige Auto Sales in Ocala or call 694-1234. Yes, 694-1234. See our Prestige. On the next day on Ocala Live, Robert and I will be speaking to Marsha Dixie. She's coming in to speak to us about the recipe for a Hope Hunger Relief Initiative to raise funds for the Feeding America program. News Bites, the hottest news and current events served bite size. And then Carol Ann Baldwin will be in the studio talking to you about your lawns and your garden on her show, You've Got a Garden. Porter Gale is a producer and director for documentaries airing on PBS. She's written a book called Your Network is Your Net Worth. And she'll be speaking about the Cox Rise of the Women Entrepreneur Survey. <laughs> and then Joe Reichel will be on from Damage Control Services. He'll be telling you what he does when he gets a call from somebody whose home has been damaged. Dr. Daniel Leffler speaking about getting educated on celiac disease. All of that plus fun with Joe on the next day. I'm Ocala Live right here on the Source WOCA 96.3 FM. 1370 AM. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoating rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new Old Fashioned Bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. I apologize to Barry White today. We're late getting to him. I just want to talk a little about football. We'll talk about it in the sports hour some when you're watching too much football. Guys, real quick, you know when it's time to turn it off. How much is too much? When do you reach that point where you say enough? Like When I'm just tired of it. You know, yeah. For me to be tired of doing something that I love doing, you just got to quit. You know, it's, it's October, and you know, we already had six weeks of this, and it's wall-to-wall. If you, if you start at 9 a.m. and go to midnight, which sometimes we do on Saturdays, yeah. and then you got an NFL, it, after about four weeks of that, not only does your – And you're eating and drinking all day. Does your spouse get tired of it, but you get tired well, of it I as don't well. I do have that situation. Oh, I'm just yeah, saying. Uh, yeah, I get tired girlfriend. of it. Last night, it caused me to uh, miss something very important. So what happened last night, J.J.? I was just – you know, by Sunday nights, I'm so over – Watching TV. Overindulged in TV. Yeah. So usually I'm at like halftime, maybe not even then. I go to bed. I don't watch the Sunday night game. 
And so the baseball game was 5-1. to one. Going into the seventh, I'm thinking, man, you know, Detroit's given up like two hits. Scherzer's pretty – you know, when Detroit has a 5-1 lead, it seems like a 9 Yeah, they lead. shut them down. They had a, yeah. If you look at the fans, the shot of the fans, look like a funeral. Look like a funeral. Right. They're about to be down they're, two they're games done. to nothing. They're, right. And they're going to have to face Verlander on Tuesday. Yeah. It's over. Basically, Tigers versus – uh, yeah. Tigers versus Cardinals in the World so Series. So, like me, I turned it off yeah. after about the seventh inning. And too. so, I'm hanging out with my buddy today. Didn't think even to check the score this morning. Was up early, you know. <laughs> One o'clock comes around this afternoon, and I'm looking at my phone. I go, dude, the Red Sox won last night? He Big goes, Poppy are you serious? What? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, man, Big Poppy hit one of the biggest home runs I've seen yeah. in a long time. Yeah. So just amazing ending to the game that I completely missed. Right. Now, I just got these pulled a couple of these things off about watching sports, and I just read one of them to you. I'm going to get real quick into these, and I apologize for not getting to it sooner. But here are some suggestions that the woman offered. Uh, you know, uh, she says, hey, stop complaining. It'll make you both feel better. Try to come back with the fact that this behavior is going to continue in one form or another. Instead of complaining, spend your high time thinking of things you can do to occupy many hours while he's watching TV. I kind of agree with that. Yeah. Find something else. Number two, if you enjoy sewing, and doing crossroad puzzles or reading, you know, bring whatever it is to the couch, participate in the game, and use and 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 just you know listen and watch. Uh, your I got a good one. Get a friend. Well, you know, that's but, that's you know, the problem about a lot of relationships. It is true, but you know what else? Sometimes you need to learn. I'll, this is, comes with wisdom. You have to learn when to when when to have your your spouse involved and when not to or your whatever. Like my wife said to me, I went to watch the game at Tom Ingram's house along with my son-in-law, and she said, what am I going to do? She used to watch the Gator games, you know. So uh, she watched it at home that day. Um, anyway, the, another suggestion from this woman is to let, uh, you know, find out what the schedule is. You can get the schedule. We, people say, well, what, what game is it this week? You got the schedule in advance. If you know what's going to be a long day, you got big games, schedule something you can do during that time. So there's no question. Now, here's one more real quick one. This, is, uh, this comes from somebody who says, I live in an area, this is you, JJ, in an area of the country where people are absolutely obsessed with college and pro football. This is a typical weekend schedule for 70% of the people during the winter months. Saturday, 10 o'clock, wake up and start drinking. Well, I have a show till 11, so yeah, I started at right. 11. 1 to 10, <laughs> watch college football. 10 to 2 a.m., go to the bar. Yeah, we did that on Saturday. Actually. Sunday, 10 a.m., wake up. 11 a.m., get drunk and tailgate the local NFL team. 1 o'clock, watch local NFL team. Uh, 4 to 10, watch other NFL teams play for fantasy sports purposes. Yes. So she says, look, I get it. Drinking can be fun. Nachos are tasty. Sports are at least nationally cool. But why are you willing to devote entire weekends of your precious free time to watching other things that men accomplish? I'll we love being why. around our friends, too. I'll tell you why. Because there's 52 free weekends a year, <laughs> and I'm only consumed with 20 of them during yeah. football season. Not even, man. Get over it. You got 32 <laughs> other weekends. I'm going to give but you attention. You don't, watch, you don't watch as much as JJ and I. Not do, no. nearly as no, much. No, I don't as watch me. nearly as much. Because so, I have a life. You know what I do I when I'm not watching football? Excuse me. I'm at the golf course <laughs> playing golf. <laughs> yeah. Did you infer that we don't have a life? I, that's what he's trying I to think say. So. I don't have a problem. No, with that. but I'm not with my girlfriend. If I'm not watching football, I'm yeah. playing golf. Well, then you're the one to have a life. <laughs> All right, let's round. Females us. always make the watching. We got twenty seconds. Can twenty we get weeks. It? Can we get it in, JJ? We got twenty seconds. We can let, yeah, let, we the, can let the regular it. music just play, and we'll see if we can just get this in. Okay, number one. If you want to persuade, you must appeal to the interest rather than the intellect. Benjamin Franklin. Number two. If you have no critics, you will likely have no success. Malcolm Forbes. Number three. Opportunity may knock only once. But temptation leans on the doorbell. Exactly. All right, here we go. Coming up, Buddy Sports page. Talk more about what's happening. What a great weekend for football. Seven ranked teams defeated. Was it the best night ever in Boston? That's what they're saying. We'll talk about Big Poppy and Tom Brady next right here on WOCA The Source. Hi, it's Lisa Midget with Kinetic Motion Fitness. I'm looking forward to a fun, healthy summer, and I have a few ideas that might just help you and your friends stay in shape and have fun too. Along with awesome personal training and group classes at our warm and inviting fitness studio, we also offer fitness classes at your home or business. And if you're tired of the same old, same old boring cake and punch party, why not let us host a hot new health trend, a fitness party at your home or office? If you're having a hard time getting to the gym this summer, 
because if you're a crazy schedule, then work out with your friends or coworkers in a private group fitness class or host a fitness party at your home or office. We will bring you and your friends or coworkers one of our great workouts like Zumba, Piloxing, Body Bar, Yoga, Tai Chi, Boot Camp, or Zumba Tomics for Kids. We can even help you reach your long-term goals by meeting at your place weekly for an on-location workout. Check out our website at kmfocala.com and like us on Facebook. Kinetic Motion Fitness is located just five minutes from downtown Ocala near the Skylark Plaza. Kinetic Motion Fitness, we're ready when you are. Hi, this is Buddy Martin. If you have an award or a trophy in your house, there's more than a good chance it came from BJ Trophies Gifts and Awards. At BJ Trophies, Floyd Hershberger and his staff have a lot more than just trophies. Among the items they specialize in are donor recognition walls and trees, personalized or engraved gifts, cast bronze dedication plaques, wide format digital printing with posters, banners, and signs, and promotional products. Floyd is the official trophy and awards maker for the Voice of Ocala radio show and is North Central Florida's leader in custom recognition programs, corporate awards, industrial engraving, unique gifts, and advertising specialties. When Angie Lewis went shopping for something to award to the winners, a 